Hello everyone, in this video lecture, I am going to explain about finite state machine, definition, deterministic finite state machine and examples. Now, the finite state machine is the simplest and the most efficient computational device that we will consider is the finite state machine. Its definition, the finite state machine, if you consider this block diagram, is a computational device computational device in the sense it is uh, mainly built to solve any problem it, which is an abstract machine whose uh, input is a string whose input is a string and uh, whose output is one of the two values accept and reject either it is going to accept or it is going to reject and FSNs are also called as finite state automata or in short FSAs and uh, you can uh, consider an example of string matching function. If you think string matching uh, function uh, as a machine, an FSM machine, then whose input will be string, whose output will be um, uh, based on the string matching function, either it is accept or reject. Next, finite state notations. Uh, to write any finite state automata, uh, we need to know these notations. First is start. So here uh, the arrow towards the circle and circle need to be labeled. Labeling you can uh, use any alphabets uh, or uh, or uh, alphabets or something like Q0, Q1 and uh, numbers also you can use it. So this need to be labeled uh, arrow. So there has to be an arrow towards the uh, star, uh, uh, circle. And intermediate state is just a circle with the label. And accepting need to be double circled like this and then uh, state transition that is uh, the movement from one state to another state is uh, represented with the state transition that is in arc mark and uh, on some input character so you need to label a character input character next we'll see a deterministic finite state uh, the machine definition it is a, a, a finite state machine is termed as M. It is a quintuple. So quintuples are uh, K sigma delta S comma A, where K is a finite set of states. K is a finite set of states. And sigma is the input alphabet. Sigma is the input alphabet. S is the start state, which also belongs to this K. And A is the uh, subset of uh, K. Which is a which is a uh, which is the set of accepting states and delta is the transition function that means all the transition that is happening between uh, one state to another is represented using uh, this format a cross sigma into another state now we'll design a dfsm or dfa for the language l equal to sigma equal to a to recognize a a star so first of all the alphabet here we are going to consider is A uh, and uh, we are going to recognize A A star that means uh, there has to be one A uh, in the string there has to be one A followed by zero or more A's that's why I have already listed the uh, some of the strings that can be part of the language one A as I told one A has to be there followed by that uh, zero or more A's so here one after one year there is one more a here after one year there are two a's here after one year there are zero a's so that is the meaning of a a star now we'll write a dfsm and quintuple so first of all uh, the to just to identify a that is whose length is one we need to have a one plus one state who, whose length is one that is a character's length is one we need to have it so that's why I I started the start state and uh, just uh, I'm going to identify a single a and uh, this is how you can uh, identify a single a but it is not our norm job is not done yet um, we need to identify even a star so after identifying one a I have reached to an accepting state if you re get more number of characters 
if in case your string contains more than a a a a a a then how to identify that's why you need to represent a loop so this is how you can construct a pfsm and then now uh, we'll write a quintuple m equal to k sigma delta s comma a what is k all the states so here k is all the states we have two states in our machine so one comma two in this alphabet alphabet is a and delta is the transition function that i will represent in form of table and then uh, the start state is one and the uh, uh, accepting state is two so now here i am going to show the table and all the rows indicates the states and the column indicates the input now so uh, start state is represented with the arrow and accepting state is represented with the, with the star and uh, now on on a one on a goes to where one on a goes to two you can see here one on a uh, goes to two one on a goes to and two on a also goes to two so that is shown in the table next we'll construct another uh, dfsm for the language W belongs to A star to recognize A star. Uh, so uh, when I say to recognize A star, uh, the language contains zero or more A's. So zero, A, uh, zero occurrence of A is epsilon. So in the language, epsilon can be considered. Then one, one occurrence of A, two occurrence of A, three occurrence of A, more occurrences of A can be present. We have listed here some. Now to draw uh, remember always no. to draw a DFSM if in case uh, language contains epsilon in that case start state has to be empty so that's why here I have made start state as empty uh, sorry not empty start state as uh, accepting state that is start state need to be double circled now we have not shown the transition how to represent a transition this uh, state here are what I have shown uh, is, um, is accepting epsilon, but we need to accept more A's also. So it can take, it can take uh, the loop, self loop on A. So this is how you can take more number of A's. Now if after that you can write a quintuple M equal to K, M equal to K, sigma delta S comma A. Yes, is the start state. Here in this case, start state and accept states are the same. Now we'll write a delta. So delta, uh, while writing, there is only one state and there is one column. So one row and one column can be present. So one on A goes to one. One on A goes to one. So this is about uh, DFSM examples. Some more examples we'll see in the next video.